Hello, here is BB Walker and it's an appendix to the previous video about the FL Studio and mini recording using the external keyboard like this Yamaha PSR S670. I have a great news for you because I have discovered what was wrong with the latency in FL Studio and why there was so basic gap between recording from here to here. So let's get started. All right, so uh, I need to be honest with you. Uh, if I found a solution for a problem, I need to post, post an update because uh, uh, please check the, the previous video about FL Studio and MIDI recording and there was a problem with the latency. Because if I have pressed the kick, for example, there was a gap between the, you know, when I press the key and when, it's, when it was received and played by the by the FL Studio. Now I have the grand piano comes from Yamaha and kick comes from, comes from the FL Studio. And the solution to the problem is the options and audio settings, very interesting thing, not the MIDI settings, but the audio settings wasn't set to FL Studio ASIO. It was set to primary sound driver with a buffer and it causes the problem. Please listen again. If I press the kick shows up after a few milliseconds. And if you have enabled the uh, recording with quantizing here, uh, you will get this, you know, gap, this, this movement, this latency will be very, very disturbing. So the solution to recording MIDI without latency problems between the external device is to always have the OGO, uh, FL OGO drivers set to standard 12, uh, 12 milliseconds uh, buffer. So now it's perfectly. You, you can't even hear this 20, 12 milliseconds. And now let's record it again to prove you that everything goes nicely and clean. We have enabled on the recording, we have enabled, so I will show you this again. We have enabled the quantization, uh, quantizing about this note start and note end. It is by the default. So if you have it and we start recording, so we will be recording this nice instrument comes from comes from uh, this is a uh, uh, flex whatever doesn't matter some synthetic sound and we will record it as a second part of the midi if you are interested what's going on up here we are recording the uh, we are connecting the yamaha external keyboard using usb midi to fl studio demo version uh, 20 and we are making it as a loop chord loopers, so it's a quite big uh, pattern, uh, 64 bars, uh, 64 bits, which is uh, eight bars. Uh, so, so we, yeah, we have four bars, 64 uh, bits for this, and we will record it with pre-counter and metrom and the kicks on every fourth and every fourth uh, measure. So, okay. Two, three, four. Nah. And now you can see with the comparison, with the comparison of the previous recording, we are in a rhythm. Actually, there is no this gap uh, anymore. So. Again, to fix the problem with audio MIDI recording, don't forget to set the FL AGO drivers uh, as the primary uh, output device because without it, you will have this gap. And if you have this gap, when you hear the kick or hear the metrom and you hit the keyboard, you will have this very disturbing gap. Okay, so it's all for now. It's a very quick, short video about this um, you know, problem with latency in FL Studio MIDI recording. So it was BB Walker. If you have any questions, just briefly refer to my channel and see you later. Have a nice day.